Hey, welcome to Ron's Basement. If this makes you excited, besides needing to seek psychological help, you need to watch this video because I have your weekly silver update. We're going to talk about price. We're going to talk about the miners and a lot of other additional information. Let's get started right now. Silver had a rough week. It dropped about a dollar per ounce from $22 per ounce to $21 per ounce. That's not good, but that's also not the end of the world. I mean, really? Did the value of that really change all that much? Try to go to a local coin shop and buy some silver. I called mine yesterday and you still have to wait up to six weeks to get a 10 ounce bar of silver. What does that tell you? And this bears repeating. I'm not saying that there's a shortage of silver. Yes, there's plenty available at other coin shops and places like eBay. The thing is you're gonna pay up to $27, $28 per ounce. You're gonna pay huge premiums. I digress. Hey, real quick, do you like videos about silver? Maybe even a little gold and the other real assets? Well, I put out content darn near every day to help you navigate the choppy waters of investing in this sector. If you could give my video a thumbs up, you could subscribe, share the video, or even better, leave a comment below. And the silver mining stocks, now let me tell you, they had one heck of a week. The SILJ, the Silver Miners Index, was down at least 10% this week, and some of the stocks have been clobbered. First Majestic, Keith Newmeyer's company, considered to be a bellwether, has just been obliterated over the last month. Another company that I happen to like, Fortuna Silver, stock symbol FSM, although I'm not recommending you buy or sell that stock, but nonetheless, this company, their net tangible assets, okay? That's the total of their assets that they own, less debt, okay? Their net tangible assets at one point this week were approaching twice the value of the market cap of the company. What that means, and I know you understand this because the viewers of Ron's Basement, it's been determined, are of high intellect. Nonetheless, what that means when you can buy a company stock, when the market cap is half of the net tangible assets, that essentially means that like for every dollar that you put into the stock, you're getting almost $2 in assets. And again, those are assets after debt's taken out. But again, I digress. Hey, look, these silver miners are having a hard, hard, hard time finding new silver deposits. That's a fact. And a lot of people will say, Oh, yeah, but they're going to open all these giant copper mines and 70% of silver is a byproduct of copper mining. If you listen to the industry insiders, what they will tell you is these new copper deposits that they're able to find, they don't have as much silver in them as the old ones. It's just the nature of the of the new discoveries in copper that they're finding. They just don't have as much silver. The future is bright and shiny for our friend Silver, they can beat the price down all they want, right? But we know the fundamental facts and eventually the demand will overpower the supply and the price will shoot to the moon. Heck, we'll take it just shooting to the roof of my house from the basement floor where it is right now. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you being here. You're welcome back anytime you like. You can subscribe right here and you can find another video right here. Thanks for watching and I will see you, you soon.